Hi everybody and welcome to today's talk. It is um, Thursday, the 5th of May 2021 and the subject of today's talk is um, one's own signature or unique unique strengths. Well, they're not unique, they're signature. Signature is the right word. Hi, I'm Nick Trowbridge, passionate about leadership, always have been, always will be, and um, believe that anybody can become a, a good a uh, decent leader, certainly if they have the right uh, training, uh, mentorship and coaching. Um, just currently um, doing a, uh, a course myself, uh, which is always refreshing because you always get, you always, um, on the one hand, you get uh, some of the ideas you, or things you know from the past um, sort of confirmed, sort of positive affirmation of stuff you'd already learned and you always learn new stuff. Um, one of the positive affirmations I just got this week was that... Um, I think it was Peter Drucker in the in the US um, said, you know, you can you can spend loads of time trying to uh, get get better at things or or in certain aspects where you where you have no real unique strengths, um, and you you'll never you'll never you'll never become better than mediocre. It's not much easier uh, not to take something that's mediocre and try and make it better that, but to try something you actually are uh, excelling or are very strong in and uh, make that world beating and I think that's that's very true you know in um, in my career uh, most of the uh, staff assessment stuff done at the end of the year or when the good companies <laughs> half yearly or even quarterly that's rare um, they sort of tend to concentrate on on stuff that uh, employees have to uh, improve so they look at the the weaknesses rather than focusing on the strengths. Um, now, psychologically, that's you know that's a it's a double whammy, isn't it? Because it's sort of saying you know you you're not very good at that, and you're actually they actually it ignores uh, what they are good at. Um, so it's much more sensible to build on strengths than it is to uh, focus on weaknesses. Although, obviously, as a provisor there, if there is some you know some highly talented young. Um, Oh, that's that's ages, isn't it? Uh, some highly talented me member of your team um, has a particular weakness that that does need addressing then obviously then you address it you don't just ignore it but um, that shouldn't be what you concentrate on so it's much better to find people put them in roles where they have where they can play to their strengths um, and you will get a much much um, higher performing team so um, I said don't you, know, you don't ignore you don't need to ignore um, weaknesses if there's something that's glaring the obvious but concentrate on the strength because it's much easier to build somebody who's strong in something to become an absolutely incredible performer than it needs to become so, uh, somebody who's got a um, mediocre in something to become um, yeah even even sort of accept an acceptable level of performance so I hope I have, that's um, understandable what I've said so uh, I'm going to try and do put that into into words and put it or put it on a piece of paper um, and type it up and put it on LinkedIn. I'm not sure if I'm going to get it around today. I'm really going to be quite busy at the moment, which is um, on the one hand fantastic, on the other hand, it's a, <laughs> it's a, yeah, it's a nice problem to have. Okay, guys, see you again uh, next Tuesday, I hope. Um, although I am starting with my um, consulting contract three day a week on, on uh, Monday. Um, so I may have to move the these vlogs to uh, Wednesday and Friday, but we'll see. But anyway, so concentrate on not only on your team strengths, concentrate on your strengths. It's actually worthwhile sitting down with a piece of paper and writing down what your what your strengths are. There are various um, software that you can find on the net, which um, you know just uh, the sort of questionnaires which, which sort of rate your uh, where your strengths are. Um, so obviously that the answer to that aren't absolute, but um, it's a, it's a help. So uh, have a great time, guys, and see you next week. Cheers.